friends good morning i am vt nair general secretary of areva all india but here i am giving this video as a common citizen like you and this video i am giving because of my last video which i had uploaded in hindi on 6th of december afternoon and uh, it was uh, 7 minutes 50 seconds video and as on 7 am this morning today is 10th of december it has viewed by nearly 1.60k that is 1 lakh 60000 persons i received many views comments over 500 and in that many of my friends in the northeast especially from nagaland manipur arunachal pradesh and uh, this assam they have means uh, they got angry because of certain things i would like to make it clear because of that i am giving this video in english Nagames, I really, I left uh, Nagaland long back, especially in 1984, I left Nagaland. So, Nagames, I can speak, but not well. Then only people will comment on it. So, I'm simply in simple English. So, actually, you see, in that day, that is 6th of December, De December why I had to upload that video is for three reasons. First, there was views that is visual media, Facebook, different uh, videos, comments were coming in that uh, one ambush uh, in Mon district that is watching Assam Rifles killed so many people, 13 or so and Assam Rifle camp was uh, this attacked or destroyed by the mob. But when I inquired, I came to know that it was not Assam Rifles, it was the army contingent who laid the ambush so first object was to clarify that it was Assam Rifle is not involved in that ambush. The second is since the civilians were killed, it is so gruesome. So there must be a prompt inquiry and as soon as possible the culprits must be punished or brought to book. That was my second in that you must have heard that justice delayed is justice denied. And the third is as usual I had an association of Assam Rifles. We are under dual control administration under Union Ministry of Home Affairs and the operational control is under Army or Ministry of Defense. But Assam Rifles people do not get benefits of for their work as they do in the Northeast or some other places. That was my third and the last object. So when the message or my video must have was viewed by some other people, that is my friends in the Northeast. So to clarify that, uh, I am giving this video. Many people have uh, questioned that Assam Rifle, India got independence in 1947. How come Assam Rifle is 186 year old? So for them, it is a book, you see. Sentinels of the Northeast, the Assam Rifles. Even you search in the Google, you will come to know the whole history. Assam Rifles is not related to India's independence, my dear friends. It goes back to 1835 when Kachar Levi, by the name of Kachar Levi, it came to being. And after changing so many names, in 1917, the present name Assam Rifles was given to it. In recognition of extremely excellent work that the Assam Rifles troops, then it was, there were only four battalions. The whole of the battalions worked with the Gorkha Regiment in the Mesopotamia or the European Theater, Middle East. They performed superbly well. So the name was given Assam Rifles in 1917. Then you see the First World War, Second World War, all in operation. They were in the uh, field area only. So that is the one point. And the second you see, you people are the Northeastern people. So you must know the history of Assam Rifles because history of Assam Rifle is the history of Northeastern area. In the present day, you see the Aizel, Kohima, how big it is. Imphal, Lohit, Purno, everything. They were underdeveloped in those days. Because in these areas, Assam Rifles came was there, units was there. Because of them only, the gradual development came and later what you see, the present youths. The youths comments were larger in number in my previous video. So they have to respect the Assam Rifle because the development work which the Assam Rifles did because of them, what we see today as a different cities, towns, no? because of Assam Rifle only. And the third, uh, second thing, which I would like to share with you is I am really I belong to Nagaland I belong to Manipur everything because I studied there only I studied in Ghaspani today it is known as Medjifima up to class 7 you see I studied there in Ghaspani government high school 
in class 10 that is high school living certificate i did from dimapur government high school i did my pre university in those days today it is plus 2 from northeastern hill university uh, my exam center was at uh, kohima and i did my graduation from modbung that is in manipur i did my llb from lms law college imphal so i have very many friends there so something if goes wrong it feels that i am injured so i request all my brothers i did a, another mistake in that video there are also comments were there i did say that uh, the locals there were brainwashed by the nscn it was wrong i am taking back that statement please excuse me because i am not a government spokesperson nor of army nor of assam rifles i am a civilian now as a retired person like you so i may make mistake because i do not have the authentic information no did this i i have said earlier only for three objects i did that video and i am taking back those uh, the thing and moreover i request you because you people are the citizens of india as much as i am i am living in trivandrum so today it is a democratic country what you call but i to me it is not a democratic because it is 75 years have gone still we need to be a democratic country because we do not cannot enjoy the fundamental rights as you have said in the north east there is armed forces special power act is there so we cannot move about to the north east there is inner line permit how come it is democracy a citizen of the arunachal pradesh or, or even in remote part of the manipur or nagaland they cannot come freely to visit their brothers in kerala jammu and kashmir gujarat and all how we can say that we are democratic if a leader goes out they go with the hundreds of protection if it is prime minister you cannot uh, imagine how much they are they are local people are uh, say getting disturbances how can we say it is democracy when a democratically elected leader cannot mix up with the people can we say it is democracy no to me it is my personal opinion we are yet to be gain democracy democracy means what when the northeastern area would be developed people there will be as happy as the people in kerala or some other part of our country they are one so then only we can celebrate our democracy or democratic country it is not for the people by the people of the people yet so that is my pain and this northeastern area is a very very beautiful the other day i had seen a video where in sukhuvi hundreds of job seekers youngsters were there something went wrong they got angry they were vandalizing the property there why because it is not their fault because they want employment employment is not there so what government and the people of that space that area north east they should help the government help the private entrepreneurs if the area is peace then only development will set in so that uh, time should come i hope i am 65 now before i say final adieu because life is very uncertain you see the only yesterday uh, 13 people got killed in a heptar accident they were coming from delhi to our chief of defense staff so we very very uncertain so i would like to enjoy this life i would like to advise you people only to enjoy this life my brothers in the northeast and everything they must enjoy they must uh, feel that they are a part and parcel of this country they and the, those who are militants because of you people say they are nationalists okay i do not make any comment on it the with, they must speak or talk with the government which is going on and bring about because sovereignty cannot be challenged no country allows its citizen to break the part of our country national integrity is there we are what unity in diversity so the beauty of different flowers in a garden we must smell we must enjoy that is india so you are very much a part of our country and whatever if i have make mistake or in this video also if i make any mistake please excuse me because i am a very common man like you and i am happy that my video has gone viral and our issue that is dual control has also gone viral many serving officers who were served in assam rifles now serving in navy i have searched in other army units they have also appreciated they have also recommended assam rifles personnel must get the benefits of army that is why I am saying the dual control must go, must go, must go because the people there, they do not get even pension, those who enrolled 2005 upwards. Okay, so they do not get the benefits, facilities. The work is very, very hard they are doing. Simply say, you must be seeing your brothers in uniform in Assam Rifles. 
serving there in the northeast they are always in the field area but they do not get the benefits so i request you public my brothers to raise to help us raise this issue with the government of india that's all thank you very much goodbye